Money doesn't grow on trees, but in the Comox Valley, toques do. Volunteers are making them, then leaving them dangling from branches so that those who really need them know where to find them. Gord Kerbis has that story. Volunteers are attaching crocheted toques to these trees in Courtney. They're being left for the benefit of those in need. Knowing we're helping people that sometimes get overlooked in society. Um, also, for me personally, it's a, it's a quick little craft I can grab and do and use up scraps of yarn. The idea started several weeks ago when two Courtney women saw how other communities were helping the homeless keep warm. I thought, wouldn't it be nice to do something like that? But I figured here in Courtney, it rains way too much. So I figured, well, why not put them in a bag and put a little note so that people know that it's not an art abandonment. It is for people who need the hats. The finished toques are being put in locations where the homeless or at-risk population will find them. Many will also be donated to the local soup kitchen. We've been getting some input from other people on Facebook, you know, suggestions of where they've noticed people. This is one. This park is one of them, so this is one that we, we missed in the first round. We're going to get in the second round. Volunteers have so far crocheted 80 toques of various sizes. They don't know how many they'll have to do this winter, but they do know they're in demand. In some locations, the toques are coming down almost as fast as they're going up. Sometimes trees that have as many as 25 attached to them are now bare. Volunteers are now looking for more people to be involved with the project and they're also looking for more supplies. I put a post on Facebook asking anybody for free wool if they had any spares or scraps or anything that they could donate to us and then get it started and then we just started looping people in like who can make hats, who can donate some wool. The women say crocheting is a simple way for them to be giving back to the community. But I just wanted to go out there and quietly give hats to people. I can't ride a bike and go up and down the island for cancer. I can't run. This is something I can do in some way I can contribute. The women hope to add mittens and scarves to their campaign next year, provided more volunteers come forward. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Courtney.